Good evening, everyone. We build this as number one against number two night or at number two night in boys and girls high school basketball in the Big Five poll. That's what happened. We'll start with the boys as number one Marquette visited number two Nagani. Pick up the action in the second quarter. Nagani fans are happy. They're up double digits for Marquette. Brad Brow. Andy Nyquist back the other way, stop, starts, nice bounce pass to A.J. Grazulis for the hoop, but Nagani still had a double-digit lead. For the Miners, end of the half, Tyler Jandren short, Zane Radloff scores, and Nagani has the 29-18 lead at the intermission. Third quarter, Marquette trying to make a run. Larry Burnett, A.J. Grazulis, Mark Papp, two of his 17. Marquette within nine, but that did not last long. Eric Laurie lit it up from outside. He hits a three-pointer here to put the Miners up 12, and he'll hit another three-pointer to put the Miners up by 15. Laurie had 17 points. Tyler Jandron led the way with 23, and Nagani put it in cruise control eh, somewhat after that, going on to win 55 to 35. To a busy scoreboard, Westwood over Norway, 50 to 34. Kingsford downs Northland Pine, 74-51. A great fourth quarter at the free throw line for Munising leads to a 52-34 win over Superior Central Gage Webster, 22 for the Mustangs. Stevenson, 59. Big Bay to knock 41. Cody Goodrow had 23 points. Zach Outenen had 24. Houghton in the 75-53 win over Ontonaga. Aaron Keiko, 23 for the Gladiators. Eric Lane goes over the 1,000-point mark for his career. He had 35 for Wakefield Marinisco. Cardinals, 71. Waters meet 63. Marcus Bain, 25 for the Nimrods. It was Solon Springs, 4 better than Gladstone, 50, or Bessemer, 59-55. And Maplewood Baptist over Grand Marais, 64-39. To the girls, Number one, Houghton at number two, Marquette. Julie Philpus reasonably pleased with the way her team played in the first quarter. But for Marquette, that's Morgan Seibert. And that brings Marquette within eight after one quarter, 19-11. Then the second, Kelsey Richards, Blair Zenner. Houghton again, up 10. But then Marquette started chipping away. Leanna Storm to Lydia Kareen. Long two brings Marquette within eight. A couple minutes later, and it's the younger sister, more than likely, Elizabeth Kareen from outside. Holtz lead down to five at 23-18. Marquette keeps right on scoring. Courtney Lafreniere, Shayla Hubner. Marquette grabs the lead at 24-23. Holton would respond. Sidney Dillinger, Alexa Johnson just gets it off in time, rattles home to three. Gremlins lead 26-24. Marquette at it again. Storm, Hunter Vidal up for three. She had 19 points and six rebounds. Blair Zenner scores again for Houghton. Marquette led by one at the half. A big close game after that. Marquette hangs on to win, 58-55. to Back to the numbers. Ishpeming, five better than Escanaba, 45-40. It was Gwyn, 45, Norway, 35. Emily Christensen scores 26 for West Iron County. Wycon, 68, Calumet, 54. Hancock, four better than Jeffers, 39-35. Dollar Bay, 15 cents short to Lakeland and Hubble, 59.44. Barriga, 10 better than Ontonagon, 48.38. Chassel gets past Waters Meet by five. Corey Trier, a double double of 17 points and 18 rebounds. Ironwood tops Wakefield, Marinisco, 52.36. Mellon easily over Bessemer. Lexi Gusser pours in 42. Apparently, no college coaches watching tonight. Forest Park, 81. North Dickinson, 36. Bark River Harris, number five in the Little Five poll this week, and the Broncos taking on Carney Nato in the Skyline Conference game. Intercepted by Hannah Starnes. She gets it ahead to Courtney Jenshack and the Broncos with a 14-5 lead in the first quarter at the end of it. In the second, Lauren Murray kind of stumbles the ball over to Morgan Eichhorn. That's good for three. Broncos still lead, though, by double digits. Kylie Van Brocklin nails a deep three-pointer, and it was a good night for the Broncos, going on to win 58-37. Back to the numbers. North Central over Rapid River, 49-38. Maplewood Baptist, five better than Grand Marais, 41-36. From the eastern end, 
It is Big Bay Tanak over Mid Peninsula 3126. Now let's go to the east. Brimley 57, Engadine 54, and Pickford. A couple touchdowns better than deep to a 42 28. On the GLIAC scoreboard, Michigan Tech gets 29 points and 14 rebounds by Ali Hadar and defeating Wayne State in overtime 67 61. Sam Hoyt had 27, but the women were two points short 55 53 Warriors. NMU close, but not quite. Saginaw Valley State 57 51 in the men's game. T.J. Cameron had 13 for the Wildcats. Brett Beeland, 12 for the Cardinals. NMU women fall in overtime by four. Nia Makala had 22. Alyssa Cola, 20 for NMU. And Lake Superior State gets bounced twice by Grand Valley State. Next is more college basketball. Janelle Tucker with 17 points and 10 rebounds. Coastal Georgia is now 21 and 7, defeating Bruton Parker 66-56. And Olivia Nash had 18 points and 15 rebounds as Oakland defeated South Dakota 59-46 in hockey. Houghton easily over Marquette 8 to 1. High school skiing today, a very good day for the Marquette teams at the regionals at Boyne Highlands. The boys were first, the girls were third. Individually, Joe Weber won the giant slalom for the boys. Dylan Larson had a third and an eighth. Luke Johnson a second and a twelfth for the girls. Whitney Stilwell a third and a sixth. And Hannah Johnson a seventh and a tenth. The Division II apparently was a couple days ago. Nice to find that out now. The Houghton boys came in third. That was at Boyne Mountain. Individually, Kingsford's Nick Ciccone had a sixth. On the girls' side, Leslie Hamer of Houghton a second and a third. Mindy Haffercorn of Kingsford a fourth and a seventh. Camille Corey a fifth and an eighth. And Ironwood's Danny McCullough Cullough for 12th state finals for Division II at Marquette Mountain Monday, February 25th. And don't forget, all kinds of information is available on our website at UpperMichiganSource.com. Right, a lot going on tonight. Yes. All right, thanks, Mike.